hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous video uh, we discussed about uh, tensile strength and ductility of materials we discussed the basic definition the basic concept and how we can determine the tensile strength and the nature of materials whether it is ductile or brittle from the stress strain curve so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, some uh, factors that affect uh, the tensile strength and ductility of materials so before that just a quick look at the basic concepts related to tensile strength and ductility so tensile strength is the maximum value of stress that a material can withstand without undergoing fracture it is the peak point of the stress strain curve and it is measured in terms of megapascal or pounds per square inch so tensile strength from the stress strain, uh, stress strain curve can be determined by identifying or locating the peak point then drawing a horizontal line and where it touches the stress axis that gives us the tensile strength value and ductility is uh, the degree of plastic deformation that uh, the material undergoes at the point of fracture now the two important parameters that are used to express ductility are elongation and reduction in area now we know that a material under tensile stress undergoes expansion and as a result of it it will undergo elongation and reduction in area elongation is final length minus initial length by initial length into 100 and reduction in area is initial area minus final area by initial area into 100 percentage of area reduction okay so the factors that affect tensile strength and ductility okay so the two main factors that uh, affect tensile strength and ductility uh, in engineering materials are temperature and impurity concentration so the impurity which we are talking about is the concentration or amount of carbon in the material so these two factors they can cause a change in the tensile strength and ductility now first let us uh, see what effect temperature has on the uh, tensile strength and ductility of materials so temperature decreases the tensile strength and increases the ductility okay so with an increase in temperature tensile strength of a material decreases and ductility increases and vice versa the opposite happens with decrease in temperature so let us see how it will uh, how it uh, works with the help of a sample stress strain curve at different temperatures so this is the stress strain curve that we have which is plotted for three different values of uh, temperature at minus 190 degrees celsius the blue one 25 degrees celsius the green one and 400 degrees celsius the red one now tense uh, temperature it decreases the tensile strength increase in temperature decreases the tensile strength so first let us analyze this okay as you can see the temperature is increasing from minus 190 to 25 to 400 so the minimum value of temperature is minus 190 degree celsius here so at minimum temperature minus 190 degree celsius the lowest value of temperature you can see the blue curve it has a peak point at this value ts if we draw a horizontal line here this is the tensile strength for the blue curve at 1 minus 190 degree celsius and it is obvious that this is the maximum value of the tensile strength okay minimum temperature maximum tensile strength now as temperature increases up to 25 degrees celsius a huge increase 
minus 190 to 225 degree Celsius is a huge increase. So you can see this peak point for this green stress strain curve at 25 degree Celsius, the peak point is here drawing a horizontal line here. This is the tensile strength for the green stress strain curve. So the tensile strength decreases, is getting reduced with increase in temperature. Now for the maximum value of temperature 400 degree Celsius for the red curve, the peak point for this curve is here and this is the tensile strength for the red stress strain curve at 400 degree Celsius. So this is the lowest value of the tensile strength. So this effect of temperature on tensile strength is correct. Okay, With increase in temperature, tensile strength decreases. Now about ductility. Ductility increases with increase in temperature. So first let us understand, we have already discussed about brittle and ductile material. Just have a quick recap about that. Ductile and brittle material. How can we identify whether a material is ductile or brittle from a stress strain curve? So if you look at this stress strain curve, this is the point where fracture happens marked by the point X. If we draw a straight line, a straight vertical line from this point up to the strain axis from the origin this is the value of strain that this material has undergone up to the point of fracture. So it has higher values of strain and the area under the stress strain curve is also great. It is a very high area value. But for this stress strain curve, the fracture happens here at this point and if we draw a straight vertical line from this point it meets the strain axis here so if we compare these two curves here the strain value is maximum here it is minimum and also the area under the stress strain curve is less as compared to this so this is the stress strain curve of a material having good amount of duct ductility and this is a stress strain curve of a brittle material because it has very low value of strain. Low value of strain means low percentage of elongation. It means the material has undergone very low amount of elongation, stretching. But here the strain value is high, the area under the stress strain curve is high it means high value of strain means higher percentage of elongation. Per higher percentage of elongation means more ductile properties of the material. Okay. So increase in temperature causes an increase in ductility. So let us confirm it from the stress strain curve. So this is the minimum amount of temperature minus 190 degree Celsius, the blue curve. So as you can see, if we draw a straight vertical line from this point, the fracture point downwards, it meets the strain axis here. So from the origin, this strain value is the minimum, okay, minimum. With an increase in temperature at 25 degrees Celsius, the fracture happens here, a straight line, vertical line downwards, it meets here, the strain axis. So from this green portion, this green line touching the strain axis up to the origin, higher strain value as compared to the blue curve. For 400 degree Celsius, fracture happens here where the curve terminates. If we draw a straight vertical line, it touches the strain axis here. So maximum value of strain for the red curve at 400 degree Celsius. So with increase in temperature from minus 190 to 25 to 400, the strain values are also increasing. Okay, For blue here, the strain is here. For green, it is here. And for red, it is here. So an increase in strain means an increase in the percentage of elongation. And an increase in percentage of elongation means higher 
ductile properties good ductile properties of the material okay so this effect of temperature on tensile strength and ductility is supported by this stress strain curve okay next is the effect of carbon uh, concentration the amount of carbon so the amount of carbon in a material increases the tensile strength and decreases the ductility okay so an increase in carbon content increases the tensile strength while decreasing the ductility okay let us see how this works so this is the stress strain curve of a material at different values of carbon concentration at 0.1% carbon at 0.5% carbon and 1.2% carbon so let us uh, analyze it one by one the various effects so increase in carbon content increases the tensile strength okay so this is the low carbon content stress strain curve so as you can see tensile strength is the peak value of the stress strain curve the peak point so if we draw a straight horizontal line this is the tensile strength at 0.1% carbon an increase in carbon concentration up to 0.5% so this is the peak point a straight vert uh, horizontal line this is the tensile strength at 0.5% okay it is higher as compared to 0.1% at 1.2% carbon this is the stress strain curve and this is the peak point this is the tensile strength so as you can see from the stress strain curve tensile strength is increasing with an increase in carbon concentration for 0.1% it is here for 0.5% it is here and for 1.2% it is here so the tensile strength is increasing with increase in carbon content now ductility decreases with increase in carbon content so we discussed ductility is measured by the amount of strain on the material so as you can see at 0.1% carbon this is the strain this is the fracture point drawing a straight vertical line it meets here on the strain axis so this is the strain value from 0 to here up to this point for 0.1% so maximum value of strain at 0.1% carbon stress strain curve at 0.5% carbon this is the strain the maximum value of strain so this is lower as compared to this 0.1% 0.5% is lower as compared to 0.1% in terms of strain at 1.2% if we draw a straight vertical line it is touching the strain axis here so this strain at 1.2% carbon it is the minimum so this thing that with increase in carbon content the ductility it decreases it is supported here so as you can see with increase in carbon concentration the strain values are decreasing strain values means it is the percentage of elongation so low strain values means low percentage of elongation high strain values means high percentage of elongation and higher the percentage of elongation higher the ductile properties so at low carbon concentration strain is maximum elongation is maximum more ductile at higher carbon content 1.2% strain is minimum elongation is minimum more brittle nature of materials so both these properties are supported okay so here we discussed about the factors affecting the tensile strength and ductility of materials in terms of temperature and the carbon concentration so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering Have a great day. Thank you very much.